Okay, we'll take a look at the export feature in Lightroom. We'll move up to the Peter Fisher photography folder and let's move to the beat scenes here. And let's say Peter's been contacted, submit some images for publication. So the two that the editors have selected are these two and he's going to target these two within the library module and then hit the export feature right here. Within the export feature, we have the ability to export to a hard drive, email, DVD, CD, something like that. So in this case, we'll look to put it onto the hard drive. And we'll need to pick a location, an export location. So I'm going to export to the desktop. And I would put it in a, in a subfolder with the publisher's name as the name of the folder. In moving down to the next thing where it says File Renaming, Peter might consider using Photo Shoot as the name. It's a custom setting. We could do custom name with the original file number, something like that. And then all he needs to do is then type in the photo shoot name. We're not exporting any video, but that is a possibility with Lightroom. And then you would identify the video format and the quality you're going to export. Over here under file settings, you're going to pick your file type or photo type, JPEGs, PSD, TIFF, DNG, or the original on the export. Now if you did pick original it would be a copy. Now in this case here uh, the publications requested TIFF, Adobe 1998 is the color space of choice, no compression, 8 bits on the depth of the image. Now if we were moving out to the web it would be a JPEG 72 pixels per inch with a quality of no, 60 to 80, somewhere in there, with a color space of sRGB instead of Adobe 1998. Image sizing. In this case here, we would not check resize to fit, but if the request was for resize to fit, let's say, a 7-inch dimension on the long side, we can easily set that up right here and pump in the 7 inches and the resolution at 300 pixels per inch. We'll turn this off for the, the um, preset that we're creating here. Output sharpening. If I was sending something for the web, I'd put it into screen and the amount would be standard. If it's a black and white, I prefer to just boost the sharpening just a little bit more for screen to high. But seeing that how this is going for print, and we don't know what surface they're printing to in the magazine, we'll just leave it blank and let the um, page layout people work with the print sharpening for the specific substrate that they're printing to on the offset press. Under metadata, in my case here we'd say copyright only or copyright and contact information. Either one of those work well. I probably wouldn't send them all the metadata associated with the image, just the copyright in this case in the submission to the magazine. Watermarking is great. It's a great tool if it's going out to the web. You can create your own watermark. So let's go in here and edit Peter's watermark. And basically what we've got is a copyright symbol that we can add here with option G on the Mac and a little space there. And we can pick the typeface that we want to work with. We could even put a drop shadow in if need be. And we might anchor it someplace within the image. I prefer the lower right in this case. But I probably wouldn't use it for submission to a magazine. I'd use the copyright feature on my images when they're sent out or exhibited on the web or the internet. Another feature is that you can put in a graphic in the upper right hand corner here. You can place a graphic, maybe your logo of your business, something like that. And that way it then becomes a preset if you like to save it as a preset and save current settings as a new preset which I've already done. And so I have my simple copyright or we have Peter's copyright here. So we'll turn off the copyright in this case here because it's being submitted for press, publication, and post-processing. What do we want to do after it's been exported? So in the feature here, we say show in Finder or show in Explorer in the PC, it will, once it's finished the job of exporting the images to the specific location, it'll open it up in the Finder and we can check to see what, that it's in there. We could then maybe download it to a thumb drive. Now if you've gone to all this trouble to create the presets, notice that we've got the location, 
we've got a special naming feature we've got um, the setting for tiffs and 300 pixels per inch sharpening off minimizing the metadata so that we only have copyright information no watermark and we're going to show in the finder if we go to this trouble to create all these parameters let's save them as a preset so you come over here lower left hand corner of the box you'll hit the word add in this case here you can pick a folder to put it in I've created this folder for Peter and his submission process and we could title the preset in this case publication photo submission and hit create so look up here into the left hand corner we've got Peter Fisher photo submission presets a special folder and publication photo submission and web photo submission so we've got two different parameters if we look down the list for web and one for print when we hit the export button we'll export these images immediately to the desktop you can see the upper left hand corner will show us the export taskbar and there are the two images as TIFFs in my desktop in a folder called publisher name okay that'll end this segment on the export dialog box